I think it's time to put our learning hats on. Let's take a look at how to create responsive and accessible animations with GSAP Match Media. So you know media queries, right? Pretty handy. Small screen, purple box, big screen, green box. Awesome. Now we can use Match Media to do this with GSAP animations. So first up, we're going to make a Match Media object. Then we can add a media query to it. GSAP records all the animations you put in here. Tweens, timelines, scroll triggers, all of them. When it matches, the animations run. When it doesn't, they all get reverted. All the inline styles that were added by the animation get cleared out. Bye! Let's add another media query for larger screen sizes. And whiz it around the other way. Look at it go! Small screen, big screen. Small screen, big screen. If you don't want to make loads of match media functions, you can make one with a conditions object. Bam, there's our conditions. Let's grab them and use the values in the tween. Little bit of destructuring. Now we can do a little ternary. And we've got different animations again on mobile and desktop with less code. Hooray! Accessibility time! What about prefers reduced motion? Good question. We can just add it with a logical operator like this. Simple. Motion, no motion. Motion, no motion. But it's reduced motion, not no motion. Quite right. We can do that too. Don't you worry. Let's add this into our conditions. Now we can check for it. If the user wants reduced motion, that's what they'll get. Reduced motion, motion. Reduced motion, motion. This has just been a quick whiz through, but if you want to find out more, check out the release post and our full video on YouTube. Bye for now and happy tweening.